Macarons are one of the most popular but also most challenging desserts to get right. We spent many months and made dozens of batches in the pursuit of trying to find a recipe and some foolproof techniques to help you do it right the first time. A perfect macaron should be chewy on the inside and crispy on the outside. It should have those classic feet and a smooth top. First things first, you want to let the egg whites come to room temperature for at least 30 minutes before you get started. Having the egg whites rest is going to result in a much fluffier, airier meringue. So pro tip, a really easy way to separate your whites from your yolks is to actually use your hands. You can alternate between eggshells, but you risk puncturing the egg yolk, you could get some shell in it. It's actually a little more time consuming. If you wash your hands, this is a really easy way to go. Now we can move on to our dry ingredients. So you want your dry ingredients to be really, really fine to ensure that smooth top. This is the time to break out your food processor if you have one. So we're going to add our dry ingredients to a food processor. We'd recommend pulsing it at least 10 times, but you really can't go too far here. The finer the dry ingredients, the smoother your top is going to be. Even if you buy extra fine almond flour, it's not going to be that smooth. You might get a bit of a lumpy surface. If you don't have a food processor, fear not. Your macarons can still be delicious. They might just be a little lumpier on top. Another tip to get that really smooth surface is to sift your dry ingredients a few times after you've pulsed it in the food processor. This is just going to ensure a really smooth top so you can get those picture-perfect macarons. Now we're going to move on to our wet ingredients. Start off by beating the egg whites with a pinch of salt. That's just going to help stabilize them. You also want to use the whisk attachment to help beat some extra air into your meringue. So you're going to beat the egg whites just until they get really frothy and are no longer translucent. Just like this. That's when you want to start adding the sugar really gradually. If you add too much sugar at once, it's going to deflate all that beautiful air that you just whipped into the meringue. 